I'm Nick Miles for Dick Hanna Dealerships. Today we're at Dick Hanna Honda and we're going to show you the CRV. There is a gasoline version and there is a hybrid version. Today we're going to concentrate on the hybrid version. The CRV is a juggernaut when it comes to Honda sales. It makes up 60% of Honda's light truck sales. It's perfect for the family, both to take on weekend adventures and for everyday driving. We're going to take it on road. We're going to show you some of the driving dynamics and look around the vehicle to see how much space it has, how it's fitted and finished, and see what fun it can be to own. Once you get into the vehicle, uh, first thing I notice is how comfortable it is to drive. Honda do a great job with their seats. I'm never going to get numb bum syndrome in this vehicle. Comfortable, I'm supported all the way through my backside, my back, all the way up to my shoulders. Very comfortable, well padded seat, nice leather material cabin is laid out nicely for me to look at. In the center, a seven inch console here, a screen which has all your HVAC controls underneath, a three-way heated seat. Nice to see a volume control on the uh, touch screen here. Also, there is a different center stack here for transmission uh, as versus the gasoline version. Parking brake and a brake hold button. Then it's a push button transmission on the right. Uh, you have drive mode, sport, Econ and EV. You can tool around the city in EV mode. Below that, wireless charging pad, two cup holders, lots of movable compartments here. Uh, you can lift the center armrest up, slide it forward and back, and there of course is USB ports there as well. Lots of steering wheel controls. You can control all of the things like uh, adaptive cruise control. On the left hand side you can choose your information screen including an attention level uh, that tells you whether you're att paying attention or not. The smack wrists like like having your mum sitting next to you and then you can also do uh, your telephone uh, controls as well as voice activated commands on the left here as well. Uh, three screens in front of the driver where the gauges are, there is the battery level, there is the fuel level on the uh, right and then in between you have your EV level whether you're charging the battery, using power, your speed and then a movable screen which you can choose what data you have in the middle of that screen and there are multiple things that you can put in that screen all the way from navigation and information to the amount of fuel to how your power is being used and even what phone or uh, what music station that you have on. Um, I like the fact that this is reachable for me. I don't have to stretch for anything. It's within a, uh, a crooked elbows uh, length for everything as well. Now, how does this vehicle sound? If I uh, move into the second lane and put my foot down, it does get a little loud if you put your foot down, but it's only a four-cylinder engine. It doesn't have a, a real transmission in it. It's uh, actually a direct drive or sort of a CVT drive. It's very, very complicated, and I hasten to add, I'm not going to try and explain it to you because I'm not an engineering student, but at the same time, it is a true hybrid, one of the only few true hybrids on the market today. Uh, it does do 40 miles a gallon in the city on that hybrid, and it does do 35 um, in the freeway, uh, which is great fuel economy, by the way. Uh, very few vehicles get to that. Uh, and I like the fact that it gets such great fuel economy, and I'm a bit of a lead foot, and I'm still getting great fuel economy out of this vehicle as well. So, great nicely laid out on the inside, lots of soft touch materials here, um, some, some plastic wood here, nicely laid out pretty uh, organized on the inside, everything within reach, have the heated steering wheel on, have the heated seat right on here, and uh, very comfy. Check out the front. These come standard in the hybrid with LED daytime running lights and LED headlights, LED turn signals, and you'll see at the front here, there is a blue surround to the Honda emblem. And also the hybrid gets a different front valance at the bottom here. I actually like that bottom lip. It makes it look just a little bit more like a stormtrooper, if I have to tell you that, especially when you get the white color here at the front. The front of the vehicle looks really nice, and you know it's a hybrid because of the blue. It looks a little more upper class, a little more respectable as it was. The hybrid 
infrared sign is actually on the side of the vehicle. You can take a look at that. That's where you read that it's a hybrid. Uh, the upper class trim levels come with a 19 inch wheels. And then the only other place that it says uh, hybrid is at the back of the vehicle, but there's something else interesting at the back. There are three ways to open the tailgate at the back of the CRV. You can either do the kick under the bumper, you can use the button, or you can actually use the key fob to open the back. And there is almost 40 uh, cubic feet of trunk space back here. Huge amounts of space to put all your family's gear in the back here. But the second row also has huge amounts of space. Now, I'm a fairly little fellow and I've got massive amounts of room. That driver's seat is in the position I would drive in it. I probably have to walk to the front seat here. Now anybody, even if they're over six foot tall, and I have friends over seven feet tall, and this is the one vehicle that they actually fit in, in the back row. I would be more than happy to take an over thousand mile trip in the back seat of this vehicle. There is plenty of room for at least five passengers, completely flat four in the back of this vehicle, and room for any size passengers, at least three in the back row. Plus, if you have two nice armrests, with drink holders. See if your kids complain about that. In the back, two USB ports and air vents to make sure everybody is at the right temperature and their little electronic devices are charged because monos is not something we like in the back seat. Standard sunroof and nine speaker Honda standard sound system. Plus this plastic wood trim actually makes it to the back of the vehicle. And the rear seats are actually about the same as the front seats, as comfortable as. And it does have a rear split seat, which is a 4060 at the back here. And if you want to relax a little bit, it does <coughs> recline. Not much, but enough to get a good snooze in. First of all, let me tell you about Dick Hanna's best deal guarantee here at the Honda store for every new Honda that leaves the lot. First of all, you get a one year warranty on the exterior and interior fabric of every new Honda. Second of all, you get a lifetime warranty on the powertrain of every new Honda that leaves the lot here. And finally, we surf all the local websites to make sure that you get Dick Hanna's best price guarantee. Well, thanks for watching our review and informational video about the Honda CR-V Hybrid. If you want to watch our gasoline video, it's in the comments below. Plus, you can also see many more of our videos. Just click below and you'll see those videos. Plus, if you have questions or comments about this video or you want to see other videos, you can do that. And of course, we're ready to answer any of your questions. Plus, any of the Dick Hanna dealerships will be ready to help you with those questions as well. We'll see you in the next video.